welcome back honeybee aware supporters um i'm finally back with another video this one will basically be like a story time or a story slash scenario but as you guys can see i'm in a process of getting myself together for the day so i will be back with the rest of the video once i'm semi together or halfway together and i'll let y'all watch me you know finish the rest but let's get into I it. I forgot about you guys. I'm currently in the process of combing my hair and getting dressed. But we about to get into the video. I hope y'all ready because this is, this scenario, this little story I got for y'all, mind blowing. Well, to me, let's is. go ahead and get into the video. Anyways, I'm back. Yes, I freehanded my brows. No, I haven't cleaned them up yet. If you feel some type of way about my eyebrows, then guess what? I don't give up. No, but comment down below and go ahead and give me some tips if you feel like, eh, her eyebrows look like, eh. But anyways, long story short, thank you guys for coming back and joining and viewing my video. I know it's been a while. So I'm here with a little short story and a scenario for you. What would you do if it was you? Anyway, say you got that. So you chit chat with one on your way to orientation and the other one you've been talking to overnight. Your one that you've been talking to overnight asks you, hey, can you help me out with gas money so I can get to or in from work until I get my first check? You say, okay, cool. Because orientation for me is around the corner from your job. I'll meet you at your job during your break time. Your other ex-co-worker is texting you the day of your orientation asking for a ride. You don't know where this ride needs to be, you know, you don't know where this ride taking you. You don't know if you're going out of town. You don't know if you're going to New Mexico. You know, you just say, yeah. You're like, yeah, you got a few bucks for gas or whatever. So after orientation, which ends about 1150, you're going to meet your other homegirl at her job on her break so you can take her the gas money she asked you for. You're talking to her face to face physically, but at the same time, you're multitasking and texting your other ex coworker. Because she still needs to ride. After she said she no longer needs to ride. Due to the fact that she thought she had a ride from her child father. She knew she didn't have a ride from her child father. Because she said they're no longer together. And he's just coming to get the baby. That's the first red flag. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. So I leave my friend job. And I say... I'm about to go home. She like, okay, girl, take your butt home. It's raining anyways. I'll hit you after I get off of work. So, your day was supposed to only consist of orientation, your friend job, and home to your kid. But instead of me going home, I go meet the other ex-co-worker because she calls it this time. She like, hey, I still need the ride. Can you still give me the ride? Plans change. You say, okay, yeah, because you haven't made it home yet. So you, you know, you reroute. You go get this person. They send you the address. They only 10 minutes away from your household anyways. You pick her up. When you pick her up, she sends you an address. You in front of the house. When you get to the house and you arrive to the house, you realize that she's not coming out of the house or the address she sends you. That's the second red flag. Anyways, after you notice she's not coming out of the house that she sent you the physical address to, you get to thinking. You're like, maybe she just don't want me to know her physical address due to the fact that I just met her. She just met me. We only known each other for a few weeks or almost a month. She gets in the car. She said, hey, I'm new around here. Do you know where the hair store is? I heard one about one that's named Jenny's. You say, yeah, I know where Jenny said. I shop at Jenny's all the time. And there's two other hair stores near Jenny's. All right, y'all. Here come the juicy part. <laughs> A simple day of just going to orientation in someone else's vehicle, dropping some friend money off so she can get to it from work turns into something totally different and taking someone for a ride boom mm -hmm. anyways i'm complete this is me today you know y'all already know i struggle with acne uh anyways and it's that time of the month but i'm getting off track anyways so fast forward I don't picked her up. 
We on Mansfield. We on our way to Jenny's. I'm talking to them. We just chopping it up about life, about kids, about money, about new jobs. You know, we just talking how us women do. We pull up to Jenny's. Like I say, I'm a spiritual person, so I'm feeling it all up in here. All up. When I first started feeling it all up in here was when I pulled up in front of her house. And I seen her walking across the street instead of at the house I was parked in front of, which was the physical address she gave me. Anyways... I try to park her to the front. Like, because I'm lazy. I want to go to the front and park me to the closest so I can get in and out. Baby, she went inside the store after she asked me to park a little bit distance away from the door. Yeah, y'all can call me dumb or whatever. But anyways, I parked a little bit ways down, you know, from the door before she got out the car. She done went into the store. While she in the store, I'm texting this homegirl that I just left and gave her the money so she get back and forth to work. I'm texting her. I'm like, some feel off. You know, like, I just feel like let somebody know what's going on, where I'm at, what's going down. I'm like, I feel like some off. When I left from you, she called and was like, she still need the ride. Uh, all of a sudden, she don't have $10 or $15 for gas. I ain't need it, but still at the end of the day, y'all know, rides cost. So I wasn't tripping on her when she said she didn't have the money, but everything just coming together. But I'm, I'm just, I don't know why it all start coming together Why I'm at the actual her store. But while I'm sitting in the car processing all this, I'm like, she didn't walk out that house. She back door and said her child father was going to get her ride. Now she need me to get her ride. She don't have gas money no more. She say she need a little help. She say she still work at the last job we was working at together. <sighs> Honey. By the time I can process any of this and press send to tell my friend what was going on, it was sunlight shining, sunlight shining in the passenger seat, the back seat. And I'm confused because I'm like, I only picked up one person. I look over, she throwing her in the car. Her body ain't even in the car. She throwing her in the car. She say, bitch drive, bitch drive. I've been in there stealing. Baby, I'm looking at her like I don't know what, like. I guess that's how I'm looking at her. But I tell her, I say, I don't do shit like that. I'm not finna drive off. The man in the back seat, he already on the phone. He tugging her. Baby, why this girl... Baby, why this girl pull out some scissors? When I say she opened that pack so smooth, baby, she said, Ksh. Sir, I finna stab you. If you don't get out of this car, I finna stab you up. I finna stab you up. Baby, my, my life just flashed past my eyes. I was like, sir, please, sir, please. So I'm begging him because I don't know. She finna stab him up and she finna stab me up. She hollering drive off. She's about to stab him. The security guard at my door built like a sumo wrestler. Jay is now making it to the car. He telling me so, bitch, give us our shit back. I'm like, oh, my gosh, let me out the car. I grab my granny keys, my purse. I done stood over there with the other cashiers. People stopping. They stirring me in my face like this. No fucks giving eight. On the brakes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. I don't know how. I had a little half wig on with the head being tied around it. My wig done slid back. Like, I'm fixing my wig. I'm tying the... And it's all happening so fast. This girl went in the store to steal. She didn't give me no heads up. I don't know. I guess I just look like a dumb ghetto bitch that still. But I work for mine. I don't know. Maybe my face said she steals. But she never gave me any of those vibes while we was texting throughout the week. When we were uh, talking at work. Like she gave me none of those vibes. So I had to do a report. Well, I'm laughing about it after this. But at first I was shook up. The police like you good. Just write us a report. We ain't gonna contact you. Do you know her real name? I don't even know her real name. I just know about Rose. That's what we used to call it at work. That's what, what I call it, Rose. I show him the text messages. I'm like, I'm I'm snitching. I don't commit no crime with me. I'm snitching. Baby, I psh, here go the text messages, sir. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. My phone screen cracked a little bit, but I'm reading them hoes to him. I'm like, none of this was playing with me. She tried to run game on me and have me an accomplice or whatever they call. 
Baby, just think about it. If I would have drove off, this man's blood either would have been in the back seat or he would have been dead in the back seat. I would have been straight going to jail after I just left a damn job orientation and she went down anyways because, uh-uh. So, at this time, everything done ended. I've been gone since 1040, 1050. Orientation been over by 12 at the latest. I've been gone to uh, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, almost 2. Thank God I'm a green one calling, look for me and none of that. But long story short, y'all can't fuck with these bitches. 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 Because, no, don't fuck with these bitches. But, yeah, if it was you, what would you have done? Because the security guard said I should have been beating her head in with his little big ass. And uh, he going to say, yeah, she had on the right outfit today. Them little Nikes caught fire up on They caught some spark. I couldn't catch her ass. He talking about I let the manager get her. Yeah, we know. You be like a sumo wrestler. He talking about, yeah, if she would have gone ahead and stabbed him, I would have had to go on the shoot and sent her up to the upper room. I'm talking about, oh my gosh, like, black people can't take nothing serious. I'm sitting up here thinking, so you finna shoot through the driver door 